thanks for you know watching part one and coming to check out part two part two is about the buffer tube and this arm spec uh srs recoil spring and the, the reason why I'm doing this, if you watched in part one, I kind of spoke about it, but I'll say it here briefly, is that I don't like the, um, the, the twine from the buffer tube. So take a listen to this. Right? So you hear that twine in there? I kind of want to get rid of that twine. So I uh, reached out to Armspec, uh, Arm, Armaspec, excuse me, and had them um, send out a unit, an SRS for review. This is actually going to be pretty special because there's a couple of things that we're going to do inside this video um, and some things I figured out when I was initially setting up this whole process that didn't work. But, you know, as Focused Hand Special, you'll figure out how to get it to work and uh, get out there to the range. All right, so to begin with, we need to, if you have a law tactical, this is definitely important. Um, you're gonna want to, I'm gonna close this. You're gonna wanna get the spring, the old buffer tube out, which is, you know, right here. You wanna get that out, and I'm probably not gonna show this on YouTube, like so. That's out. All right, and then we will unbox the armor. And we're gonna install this. Just put it down in there like that. Boom, fits in there just like so. All right, so if you have the Law Tactical folder and you just close this up and you try to, it actually gets stuck. And the reason for this is the Law Tactical folder um, bolt extender or adapter here is solid. The unit itself here on the Arma has this uh, little pin in the middle. When you depress this down, that pin actually pushes outward and you really can't see in here. So I'm gonna take it out so you can see the action. And when you go to press on the SRS, you get this metal joint here in the middle. That metal joint is what pops out and it actually blocks the unit from actually uh, compressing downward, so it, it won't work. If you bought the Gen 3, Gen 2 armor spec, um, uh, recoil springs or SRSs, uh, it won't work in your Law Tactical. I mean, it'll fit in there, but your Law Tactical, even the Gen 3 Law Tactical ones have this solid uh, bolt extender. It won't work in there. So let's go ahead and put this back in. Well, you have this solid here. Um, you have the solid bolt extender. And again, if you try to go to rack rack the gun or to charge it, it's, it, it's locked. You can't do anything. And that is because of this unit here. It's solid. So you actually have to remove this out of the unit because this won't work if you're trying to run this SRS Gen 4. Um, and here's the thing. So knowing that, I went out and I purchased this Anarchy Outdoors uh, bolt extender. And the key thing about this is it's supposed to allow you uh, to move past that uh, metal piece that I showed you. For the Gen 3 version of the SRS, that metal version looks like this. It's, it's a lot, it has a lot more surface area. Uh, so this won't work with a Gen 3 SRS, uh, Armor Spec SRS, because the piece is, it's kind of fat and it hits this part right here and it won't actually slide through or let it let it charge. So what people did was they grounded out a little bit of the head on the armor spec to get it to pass. Well, I'm here today to show you the Gen 4 SRS with the Anarchy Outdoors extended bolt catch. 
and how this works. You're just gonna drop this thing in like you would the regular um, Law Tactical folder, close it up. And now, look at that. You got a much, much quieter um, recoil spring or buffer tube spring and it's able to actually cycle uh, because of the Anarchy Outdoors extended bolt or bolt extender. That is pretty cool. The beauty of this is, uh, and, and why I'm excited about it, Armaspect uh, SRS would not work without modification with the Anarchy Outdoors extended uh, bolt extender. You had to modify the SRS in the Gen 3 version and Gen 2 version in order to get it to work. But in the Gen 4 version of the SRS, uh, Armor, Armor Spec SRS, you don't have to modify anything. Uh, you can just put this in here and run it just like it is, which is great uh, for those that don't have the uh, mechanical know-how to do those things. And it's also great for both companies because now you have a secondary option instead of running the JSS one, uh, you can run Armor Spec uh, and just put in this um, and just put in this uh, Anarchy Outdoors bolt extender and run your Law Tactical if you need to. And that's what that's what the problem is uh, with this version is it's solid and that spring can't actually move. So kudos, kudos to figuring this out. And I'm glad I was able to bring this to you all. Now let's go shoot it at the range. Hey, All right, so we just pulled up to uh, the gun range. Get my stuff out. All right, so we made it to the range, and it's actually pretty quiet in here today. Um, uh, I'm on, in here by myself, which is crazy. Uh, so we got a target. We're going to send this out to uh, 21, 21 yards as far as it'll go. And uh, what I'm testing here and uh, at the range is will the SRS and the uh, Anarchy bolt extender actually work together when firing the weapon? Will it cycle? Will there be any problems when shooting? So I'm going to shoot off a couple of rounds to see if it all actually works really well. And I'll test my accuracy again because I tighten everything down with some Loctite on these two to see if I can get a little better, a little more tighter groups. So let's get everything set up and get the shoot. All right, so we're all ready to shoot. Um, I got my mag, my UT, my YouTube Compliant Magazine here. And uh, we're going to function check it, load it up, and see if it actually will uh, load in the round. So let's do that and it, it did so we are going to fire off a couple of shots the SRS secondary feature is supposed to be reducing the recoil some and I didn't talk about that in the video earlier but it's supposed to be able to reduce this recoil a lot and um, the 57 already doesn't recoil a lot so this should be interesting so let's see first shots Let's go 
handle again. Got another bad round. Another bad round. That's crazy. I don't know if I got last round loads open. Let's see. It, is, it did not last round bolt hold open, um, which is interesting. That's, that's an issue. All right, let me switch mag and try again. All right, so one thing I'm I'm worried about is, is it the ammo that's actually bad, like here, or is it something going on with my uh, AR, uh, with, the, with, this, with this kit combo? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it, it is. I think it actually has something to do with the ammo, and I do have, some uh, FN ammo. All right, let's go ahead and get a couple more off and see if it will cycle fine. And shoot it ready. And it's doing it. Another round. This could be, this literally could be the ammo. fired some of this uh, FN ammo cleaner uh, and this run so it definitely has to be a real ammo. I'm gonna try this and it cycles all I think nine ten shots of this and uh, we'll conclude this. So stand by give you a last round bolt to hold open uh, on on this setup pulled out the 57 pistol to test this ammo and it actually works so I I kind of have an idea what this might mean it could be something with my trigger group I don't think so because the FN stuff fires without flawlessly uh, but the PSA rock in its glory fires everything even this stuff so and it, and it had a striker a strike on it and it fires it to prove it I'll show you Alright, 
so welcome to the focused hands after hour um so i'm back from the range and you saw uh part two and how i was talking about uh some issues that could arise that it would have arised with the light primer strikes i now know it to be light primer strikes after a little bit of research uh, so i'm going to swap out the hammer spring i went with the uh, lighter hammer spring uh, on this unit and I'm gonna put the uh, I guess stronger hammer spring in and I think that should uh, deal with all of the light primer strikes and then I'll go back out to the range and formally test it uh, and to make sure everything's all good because it should be able to run that federal ammo uh, with no problems so let me go ahead and swap this uh, hammer uh, spring out that's pretty easy and uh, we'll kind of go from there stay focused all right there we go for that that should not come out at least I hope not I'm going to wipe this off right here and then let's go ahead and fix unit here and make sure that they can drop a mag and it can okay so that's good it's good there we're good here and we're good here so it actually locks like it's supposed to doesn't fire fires doesn't fire fires don't want it to strike like that doesn't fire fires all right so that's good so this is uh, gonna be the fix for this and while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and re loctite my uh, uppers because this is moving again I'm gonna Loctite this side so this thing literally won't move anymore this has been the bane of my existence because it keeps moving when I go to the range to shoot so hopefully you learned a little bit uh, from this again I have to take this back to the range to make sure that this test uh, actually works with the federal ammo uh, but this is this is one of the, one of the things you have to do when you know making upgrades to your to your stuff. You gotta get out there and try it. Sometimes it doesn't work. It fails. You need to figure out why, or just have some idea why it doesn't work, and a solution to fix it. And keep trying till you get it. Uh, now I know that these springs were probably not going to work for the ammo that I was using. They work with the FN stuff, but I want to be able to shoot all types of ammo. So I needed to make this a real quick adjustment and it was a pretty quick adjustment with the with the spring. So uh, that was the only variable. The other variable other variable being the SRS itself. And I just don't think that the SRS was causing the issue as it the the bullets were cycling with the SRS so I feel like the spring and buffer weight were not the problem and it had to be uh, something characteristic of the hammer and trigger due to the light primer strikes so uh, I watched a couple of videos and some people had some of the same issues so I'm gonna make the assumption that this is the same issue that I have so We'll find out if I'm right again at the range. So stay focused. Peace.